Well, everyone, of course, it is me, Scott. That's right, that guy that you occasionally will stumble... Nah, don't bullshit yourself. You used to stumble across this YouTube channel, this face. Well, not necessarily this mug. Trust me, I've had so many cuts. I need to get a drink of water here. It's me, Scott. I, I've got something that I, I have something very important to share with all of you out there. Stick around. Trust me, you're going to love this because what I... You know what? It's just going to revolutionize... That's a story I'm sticking to. Just stick around. Now, before I get into that, I want to share with you this idea that I have been working with for quite a while. It's just a theory, an idea. Look, if you're a fan of the Halloween franchise or any movie franchise, if you just love to come up with different ideas, different theories, then, then maybe you'll understand what I'm about to share with you. So just keep that in mind after about five minutes or two minutes or really 30 seconds after you start hearing my theory on this. So just, just give it a chance, please. That's all I ask. All right. A theory. Not only could it connect John Carpenter's Halloween to Jordan Peele's Us, but it also answers some of the biggest questions about Michael Myers himself. John Carpenter's Halloween and Jordan Peele's Us, well, they are two different horror stories. But an entertaining theory that I that I was thinking of, that, well, it could be possibly link then between that could change Michael Myers' story completely. Yes, back in 1978, John Carpenter introduced the world to a slasher known as Michael Myers in a film called Halloween. Yes, in Halloween... He was responsible of going after and killing his sister on Halloween night back in 1963 at the age of six. Shortly thereafter, obviously, was sent to Smith's Groves Sanitarium. Well, to speed things up, that is. Anyways, Michael never spoke again and then escaped the hospital 15 years later, returning to his hometown, fictional hometown, that is, Haddonfield, Illinois. And then he was going on this murdering spree in which he targeted Lori Strode and her good friends. YouTube, this is all fake. It's not real. It's just a BS story. It's what we love. It's called creativity. Don't strike me for sharing this. Anyways, in 2019, Jordan Peele's second movie, Us, introduced the audience to Adelaide Wilson and her family. Now, during vacation, Adelaide and her husband, Gabe, and their children, Zora and Jason, well, they are stalked and attacked by their Doppler gangers, who make a big reveal to them as other Doppler gangers begin to haunt their respective doubles. Now, this idea, this theory, I found it be a potential connection between the Doppler gangers and us, known as the Tedders and Michael Myers, thus giving the possible explanation for Michael Myers' actions and behavior. At the beginning of Us, a young Adelaide visits Santa Cruz's Beach Boardwalk with her parents, and then she basically wanders away, entering this like funhouse where she comes face to face with her doppelganger. Now, this experience was so traumatic for her that she stopped speaking and withdrew from her family. But with time and therapy, well, she eventually started talking again. Now we fast forward in the film where it's many years later, Adelaide was confronted by her doppelganger. Thus, of course, with her husband as well and her children. But her double named Red, well, Red was basically served as a leader. This is the crazy thing. She was the only one that could speak, although it was pretty much like in a low raspy voice. Now, Red explained to Adelaide and her family that she and the others are all called tedders. And that they, well, they share a, a soul with their lookalike counterparts. But unlike them, well, they live in these underground tunnels that pretty much extend throughout the whole entire country. Now, it's explained in us that the Tedders are the result of a failed cloning project from the government through which, well, they, tr they try to infiltrate and control Americans. However, they couldn't figure out how to replicate the human soul on these clones so basically, they end up being empty-minded and mimicking what their real counterparts did. As a result, the project was abandoned, and of course, the Tedders were left in the underground tunnels. Basically, mindless little souls, you know, replicating what their counterparts, you know, were doing, you know, outside up here in the real world. Now, here's the big twist. 
Adelaide was actually her own Tedder's version all along. As during that encounter when she was a kid, her double changed her place with her, right? This is why Red is the only Tedder that, well, could speak. Now, taking all this into account, a possible theory that I'm thinking of, right, is just that Michael Myers himself was a tethered. The similarities between the, the doppelganger and, and People's Us and Michael Myers after the murder of his, his sister even brings up one less popular horror movie. Well, you know that one Halloween Resurrection? Well, that film, in my mind, with this theory, plays an important part. The theory that I have then suggests that at some point on Halloween night in 1963, Michael Myers tethered, well, it took place of the real Michael Myers, hence why throughout the whole Halloween saga franchise, this is why Michael Myers doesn't speak a single word. Then again, this would leave out the Rob Zombies remakes. Yeah, you have to cut that out of this theory. I didn't know. I just know. Huh. Didn't think of it until now. Anyways, with Halloween's resurrection, uh, this could basically explain how Michael Myers, he tethered, could have taken the place of the real one, as in this movie reveals, of course, in Halloween's resurrection, there was tunnel, well, tunnel, a tunnel system beneath the Myers house. Now, this, of course, is, well, making it possible for a six-year-old Michael Myers that have, could have crossed, could have came across his Doppler ganger in his own house. Now, what really got me thinking about this, uh, that, that started this whole idea up here, another parallel between us and Halloween. Think about this. Adelaide's family is formed by her, a husband, an older sister, and a younger brother who wears a mask. Just like Meyer's family was a mother, a father, an older sister, and a brother who became known, well, pretty much for always wearing that mask. Now, I'm not sure if you're aware of this or not, but Jordan Peele has cited Carpenter's Halloween as one of his biggest influences as a horror uh, filmmaker. So basically, the coincidence that I'm building up here is the references and all that. It, I'm just seeing some... This is what's giving me the ideas, these theories. So with Jordan Peele being a big fan of the Halloween franchise, I just couldn't help the see the similarities and the coincidences and all that. What I'm, I guess what I'm trying to get at here, if Michael Myers really was a tethered, that would change his whole history in the saga, you know, the whole franchise. The more I think about it, Michael Myers being a tethered would be more of a consistent explanation than everything the Halloween, the saga has tried to do before. From, a, you know, attributing it to, to a cult, to the other supernatural reasons, or just because, well, as we all know, I think the, a lot of us feel and agree that Michael Myers is an embodiment of evil. It really doesn't explain, now that I think about it, why it was just so damn hard to kill, except for that last one. Anyways, if, if Michael was a tethered, and that would also explain why he killed his sister and why he never spoke after it. Now, surely this is all coincidences of how I see it. And more or less, you know, Jordan Peele paying homage to uh, John Carpenter as Halloween, of course, myself as well. Basically, this just gives another different, interesting perspective you know, to Carpenter's classic slasher Halloween. You know, I have fun with this and I enjoy doing these sort of things. It's, it's been a while since I've sat down here as a talking head coming up with, uh, I don't know, different theories and different thoughts. And in all honesty, with what I'm about to share with you here, it really inspired me to finally get it out there in the open. Oh, good, good, good. I am so glad that you decided to stick around or at least fast forward to this part of the video because in all honesty, this is probably the most important part of the video. Yeah, I have got some exciting news for all of you out there that's A, been a, a loyal viewer, a subscriber, who basically, well, let's face it, let me get over the other camera, who's enjoyed all this sort of stuff over there. So you, you're a collector, you're into the hobby, you're into the franchise, Halloween, or just horror itself. Well, <laughs> I've got some great news for you. Yeah, about a month ago, Christopher Webb and I decided to join forces and you know what? 
We're going to make podcasting finally kick ass. That's right. Meet us in the man cave, horror, cars, music, and some random shit. I can't tell you how tired I am of some of them out there that just aren't doing their job. Chris and I, we think outside the box and bring some value to you at least every Thursday. It's either these guys back there, or it could be cars, or it could be music, or it could be some random shit. It's just to keep life, the spice, everything rolling and keep things... In other words, a variety in your life. And that's what you've been missing. I mean, come on. You need that, right? Just imagine Chris and I having a random guest on here. Let's say that random guest happens to be an independent mask maker. And, you know, that individual tells us a little about what their day in life is. But maybe you learn a little bit more about that person. You know, maybe the struggles that they go through. Their family. Maybe they're into cars. Maybe they're into music. Maybe they're into random shit. Are you going to get that on any other podcast? Hell no. The reason why? Because ours kicks ass. In fact, I was told recently with this voice up here in my head, it simply kicks ass. That and, the, and Chris even said, you know what? Our podcast kicks ass. So there you go. Two out of three ain't bad. Seriously, if you enjoy kick-ass podcasts or have been looking for one, then you owe it to yourself to head on over to our other Meet Us of the Man Cave where you could find topics when it's horror, car, music, or random shit. If you like to just simply listen to it while you're at work, while you're at school, while you're in the gym, you're going to find us over there on Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, iHeart, and so much more. Folks, I can't tell you how much more excited I am about this because if I did, I would ruin it all for you. In fact, uh, I just, I got to find a way to end this right now because you want to watch us and listen to us over there to all those places, right? Look forward to some live streams and so much more down the road. Trust me, Chris and I have got a long list of some great ideas. So what are you waiting for? Go check us out over Meet Us in the Man Cave, Horror, Cars, Music, and Random Shit. You owe it to yourself. 